I recently finished making this custom coffee table and it's been quite a journey. It actually refers to a wider theme that I want to share about, but first, the table story. So I recently got the keys to my first apartment and I spent a lot of time watching YouTube channels like Never Too Small and Simply by Christine and getting very inspired by the ideas of minimalism, living in small spaces, interior design. There was one particular video from a channel called My Safe Space and I just loved the style in this video and particularly this one coffee table which caught my attention. So I started researching how to get one, I looked for custom pipe work here in the UK with the little connectors like I saw in the video and it seems like they didn't have them here. I found this website in South Korea that made these pipes and the connectors. I tried to translate the website and I sent them an email but they didn't deliver to the UK. In the end I asked my friend Susie, shout out to Susie, who lives in South Korea to help me. So I drew up some plans for the table tried to figure out measurements and then I sent my order in, my friend had it delivered to her place and then mailed it over to me and I paid for all the costs and the postage. And so it all arrived and after trying to understand the instructions and lots of hammering things together, we had a frame. The next step was to ask a local company here in Manchester to create the tempered glass which was cut to the right size for the frame and that was it. I finished coffee table and I'm super happy with it. So why am I telling you all of this? Well, I've been thinking a lot about influence, you know? We see something, it becomes something we want. For me, it was this YouTuber and this coffee table, but this is something that people in the world do all the time. You know, advertisers know this really well. They choose some kind of famous footballer and have them wear a certain pair of shoes and subconsciously we're like oh i like that footballer they're wearing those shoes maybe i should get those shoes and it can seem a trivial thing but it does happen and maybe you see even more in things like relationships i've had friends seen them get into a relationship and suddenly they're listening to new kinds of music they're wearing different things they've made lifestyle changes because of this person that they're seeing I'm reading a book right now, it's called Discipleship Begins with Beholding, it's by a guy called Samuel Whitfield, and it's built on this concept of we become like that which we behold. Um, 2 Corinthians 3 verse 18, it says, We all with unveiled face, beholding the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another. And the idea is that our journey of discipleship, in other words, our journey of following Jesus and becoming more like him, it starts with seeing him, it starts with spending time with him and being fascinated with who he is. And that causes us to make lifestyle changes and allows transformation to happen by the spirit to be made more like him. Here I am building a little cabinet, by the way, this took me ages. So as believers, this is like our ultimate fascination, influence, inspiration that we should have in our life. And on the 3rd of June, I released a new single called Be Like You. Subtle plug, smooth transition right there. And it's all about this theme. It starts as a song of longing to see and to know the Lord. And then it has this chorus which says, open my eyes up because I want to see, to stand in your glory till it changes me. Because when I behold you, I become like you. And then it ends with a promise from 1 John 3 verse 2, which talks about the return of Jesus. And it says, when he appears, we shall be like him because we shall see him as he is. So this is our actual final hope that just as Jesus was raised from the dead, and now lives forever in this new glorified body, we will be raised too when we see him again and we'll have this ultimate transformation into a kind of human 2.0 that's gonna live forever as Jesus reigns on high with his saints. Oh, there's me going to get a little snack, we love that. And so that's what this new song is about. It's a joyful song because it's about a joyful hope that we have. But it's also a prayer for right now to be mindful of the things and the people that we might be influenced by and to say that ultimately, as disciples and followers of Jesus, we want to spend our time being fascinated by him and becoming like him. Feel free to check it out. It's on Spotify, Apple Music and all that stuff. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you guys soon.